Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the new report and report settings in Family Tree Maker 2011. I'm going to switch to the Publish tab. And let's start out with the Descendant Report. I'm going to click Create Report. And then over here on the right, we've got this selection for numbering system. If we pull down this box, we'll see now that we can select register numbering, which is the default, NGSQ. You can see over here the numbering changed down here. Modified Henry. Again, you'll note a change down here. And then Diaboville. Right here again, change in numbering. Let me change that back to register. One of the changes that applies to other reports in addition to the descendant report is the headers and footers. So, right up here on this little mini toolbar, there's a selection for header footer. If you click that, you get the option now of turning on this header that shows the report title on every page. And you can also turn on a footer and then select what you want to be in the footer, page number, print date, or, or, and or print time. And if we select OK on those, you'll see now when I scroll down that there's a page number and that there is the date and time. And then at the beginning of the next page, you'll see now that there's a header that shows the name of the report. Another change in report settings that applies to other reports as well is the saving a preferred report. Right up here, there's this little icon that has a little gear on it. And if you click that, you get this box that says, are you sure you want to save these as preferred settings? And if I click yes, now I've got a preferred setting for this report that includes all of these settings as they are right now, and now also the header and footer settings that I've made. And if you want to return to the defaults, you've got this Use Report Settings. You can either tell it to use the preferred settings that you've selected or the default settings. I'm going to press Cancel on that. Now I'll come back to this after I go to the next report and show you something. So I want to make a change to this. So uh, let's change it to NGSQ Numbering. You can see that down here, plus 2 and plus 3. And uh, I want to come back and show you how that change affects when there's a preferred report setting. So let's go back to collection. And I want to go to the person reports. And within here, there's this custom report. I'm going to click create. Now within here, there are a number of settings. And if we select here on items to include, We've got these included facts here. So by default, we have name, birth, ma marriage, and death. And within any of these, you can select them and then click the options for that fact. So these are any of the changes that you can make to the birth fact. And then you can also add facts. So say I want to add the age at death right here. So I'll select that. Or I could actually select more than one as well. I could select age at birth of children or uh, at marriage, that sort of thing. And then click OK. And you can see that appears here. And if I want it to change the order, say I want it to appear before the death, I could just click this up arrow. Um, I'm going to leave it after. You'll notice for age of death, this button is not available. So there are no settings within there for age of death. It simply is as it is. And then there's also this sort by ability down here. So first we can sort by any of these facts. And then change from ascending to descending order if we choose. And then we can also select a secondary sort. So we can either sort by birth, marriage, death, or name, assuming that we change the first sort order. And then we can also sort by place if we chose to. 
um, or description or date, and then again, ascending or descending. So if I click OK here, we should now see age at death appear after the death in here, and there it is. Age at death was zero here. Claudia Baltieri died at 23. Let's go back and I'll show you another report in the people reports. There's this surname report. We're going to create report. And this will give you statistics for the person you have selected in your tree. And so you can see here that the surnames uh, for ancestors of Echo Terry are these, and the counts of those, how many are male and female, the earliest and most recent, and then there are settings here as well. Next, under relationship reports, we have the kinship report. If I click create here, you can see that we can sort individuals by kinship now, this setting right down here. So right now, these are sorted by name. And if I click this button and give it a few seconds, you'll see that the relationship column has changed now. So these people are sorted. The, kin, the kinship report is sorted now by the relationship. So all the half-sisters are together, all the brothers are together, all the sisters are together, and so on. Let's move on to the media reports and photo albums. So I'm going to select Create Report. And one of the choices that we have now is right here, this type selection with this drop down. So this is the person album. So it shows any of the media that I have for Echo Terry. If I click this, I can also change it to relationship album. Now if I had any pictures or any media that is related to both Echo and her husband, then those would show up here. And then there's another choice for both person and relationship. Here it's called combined album. So it will show the individual and relationship photos. The last one that I want to show you is under Other and this calendar report. So I'm going to clear, click Create Report. So death dates are included now. So if we go up in here on this, I, this icon that's, that is for um, calendar options, we can see here that deaths are here, so we can unselect that if we want. But deaths are now added to the calendar report. Now let's go back to that descendant report. I'm going to, I'll create that report. And if you recall, I set the numbering system to NGSQ at the end of showing you this numbering system for this report. But now we've returned to this report and it has the register report settings, the register number numbering setting. So I'm going to set my report settings back to the default and go back out and let's just generate another report and go back out, go back into descendant report and you can see that my preferred report settings have returned. The footer and headers are there and the numbering system is set to register. So every time you go into here, it looks like Family Tree Maker is going to use whatever your preferred settings were. So if you want to get rid of your preferred settings, say you decide later that you don't want them, there's no apparent selection for that. But if you were to return to the default settings and then save those as your preferred settings, 
you will have effectively deleted your preferred settings. You've, you've really made your preferred settings the same as the default. So now we'll see we have no footer and the header doesn't include the report title like it did before. So if we go out here and generate another report, and then go back to descendant report, we'll see that our preferred settings of having no footer and not repeating the, the header and such are changed back to the default. In, a, in effect, it's loaded our preferred settings, which are the same as the default settings.